What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, we're in a garage area. So pretty much new setting, new installs. So finally the weather won't be bothering us on our installs day or night. Cause we moved out and now we have a garage. But today guys, I have something exciting that I want to show you guys how to do because it's been a learning experience for me as well. But further ado, let's get to it. So today guys, we're going to be sanding down these wheels. Pretty much we're going to prep them and paint them to a different color. So I'm going to do them a little like a silver, like aluminum type of thing to make it look kind of stock. But yeah, that's what today's going to be all about. So we're going to turn this and over here. We have one done into this. Man, I like that color. So yeah, I had these wheels for a while. I just, you know, been moving out and with the baby being born. So I haven't been really able to record. But today I found some time and we're gonna go ahead and press this last wheel. I left this last wheel so I can show you guys how to paint the wheels. Cause it was definitely a learning process. As you can see, I have one, two, and the third one's on there. And before you guys bash on me in the comments, yes, I did get some spray paint on the tires. But don't worry, we're gonna get new tires on these wheels so don't worry about that but today pretty much i'm going to show you how to get the best results that i found out on these wheels like i said i am no professional this wasn't very nice space for me but without further ado let's get to it all right guys as you see we have the wheel right here i was going to clean it but it looks like it's just dust pretty much from having them in my parents garage so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some 320 grit sandpaper we're gonna go ahead and start sanding the whole surface area of course to get ready to get primered and after of course before we primer it I'm gonna go ahead and clean with some alcohol and some chopped out. One tip I do have for you guys is make sure you get into these little crevices right here because those are hard mostly you have like a big surface area same here but luckily you can you know make this to size and just try to get the best you can try to you know get any of try to get all this clear coat off this gold paint and then so we can go ahead and primer it but of course if you have any curb rash like I don't, I don't see any on this wheel if you have any curb rash you're gonna need some lower grit sandpaper so you can go ahead and sand it smooth it out so it's gonna show on the final product what we're gonna be doing guys so we're gonna go ahead and you know rip this to size and we're gonna go ahead and start sanding this wheel okay guys before we go ahead and start sanding of course we're gonna be sanding this paint and the clear coat so before you get into it you guys want to go ahead and get some a face mask or some sort of protection protect yourself from breathing in those that dust and of course like this garage I have the, the garage door a little bit cracked so we can go ahead and you know have some ventilation here also has a back door so that's before you guys do anything make sure you have proper equipment to protect yourself of course and glasses just in case you're using a wheel or some sort pretty much I'm showing you sandpaper but yeah just make sure you guys have some protection As you guys can see, I did cut the larger sandpaper into a little square once so I can get to these hard reach place right here. But what you want to do is, once you start sanding down, just feel it. Obviously, if you feel some scratches, you won't mind want to go up and right. So probably like 600 grit or 400 grit after this to try to get as smooth as possible. So, but the reason we're sanding down, so when we primer it, the primer has something to grab onto. And of course, after the primer, we're going to sand that too to make sure we have the smoothest finish as possible.
All right guys, as you can see, I flipped the wheel, so pretty much what we did to the front side, we're gonna do to the back. Try to get all this smooth, as you can see, a little bit of rust, discoloration going on, so we're gonna go ahead and just stand this whole back side down as well. As you can see here, we have the wheel <clears throat> against the garage wall. So we're gonna go ahead and get a vacuum and go ahead and just blow all that sand dust away. So we can go ahead and start cleaning with some rubbing alcohol and up the shelf. All right, so next with the air being all the powder dust being blown off, we can go ahead and get this alcohol and some shunt towels. Go ahead and just clean all the surface areas to make sure we have a clean surface and ready to go into primer. So let's get to it. All right guys, now that we have it best as clean as possible, as you can saw that and the wipes, it went from dirty to medium dirty and pretty much clean. So now that we have this whole service clean in front and back, we're gonna go ahead and prep this wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and start priming. So let's get to it. All right guys, see here we have the wheel right here on top of some cardboard so we don't get no paint on the concrete. So what I've been using is no cards, you can see by the paint, just put them around the rim. Just like that, as you can see we have a whole rim so we don't try not to get no paint on the tire. Like I said, I'm not too worried about that because I'm gonna get new tires on these wheels. But before we go ahead and start painting, we're gonna go get the primer, put it under some warm water because it's been pretty cold. And after that, we're gonna shake it really well because we don't wanna get no buildup. But don't worry if you guys get any runs or buildup on the whole wheel. Cause since it, we are using sandable primer, we're gonna be able to sand it down and smooth it down again before we actually get to the paint. So don't worry about if you spray paint it too much, you get some runs, you get a lot of paint buildup. Just try your best to keep it nice and clean, but if not, don't worry about it. We're gonna go ahead and after we prime, we're gonna sand it again to try to get the best results we can. So I'm gonna be right back, go get that primer warmed up, and then we'll go ahead and start painting. All right guys, so you can see here, primer, sandable primer. I have two, because this one's almost done, and this one's a completely new one. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first coat, which should be light and then we'll continue building up. The one thing is you do want to try to get it from different angles so you can get inside the little creases right there because I've noticed sometimes paint lines on, sometimes it doesn't. So I saw I went this way, so now I'm gonna go different other ways so I can try to get more paint on there. So now we're gonna go ahead and let it dry for the first coat and then we'll come back and continue adding more coats. All right guys, so we're here to do the second coat. Let it dry for 10 minutes. As I read the instructions in the back of the thing, it's a 10 minute per coat. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the second coat. You might have to Spray a little bit in there because I've seen that it's not fully getting it in there, so you probably have to do that. And you have the you run the risk of probably getting too much and the paint starts dripping. That's why, like I said, this is sandable primer. So if you do get some of it running, um, well, of course we're gonna go ahead and re-sand it because we want to try to get as smooth finish as possible so we can get the best results that we can. 
so that's why I'm not too worried. So that's why I got the sandable primer. But let's go ahead and you see I'm doing here. I'm trying to get into those harder reach areas that I know for a fact from the previous ones I've done aren't getting it. So, so I'm doing that, guys. And with that, we'll just let it sit for another 10 minutes and then we'll come do the final coat. All right, guys, so I'm waiting. 10 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and do the last coat. So for this coat, you wanna go slow and heavy. Go ahead and put the last coat. All right, so like I said, it's kind of hard to get into those little areas right there in the corner, so we're gonna go ahead and just spray it like I, we did right here. And okay, again, if it runs, it runs, so we're gonna go ahead and sign it anyway. And with that, as it says in the back of the bottle, we're gonna go ahead and wait four hours for it to dry off, and, we're, and then we'll be ready to dry sand it. But of course, if you're doing wet sand, you don't have to wait for hours. You can go ahead and have three dries for 30 minutes. You can go ahead and wet sand it, but we're dry sanding, so we got to wait a total of four hours. So I'll see you guys after this four hours. We're done with the four hour period, so now we're gonna use a 400 grit sandpaper, and we're gonna go ahead and do a quick sand run of the wheel to make sure that there's no rough edges. As you can feel right here, there's some roughness right here, but overall, it looks pretty smooth. But still, we're gonna go ahead and just with it, smooth the whole thing down and get ready to paint. All right guys, after that quick sand down, we're gonna go ahead and blow off all the excess, all the dust we with the sandpaper, so let's go ahead and sand it off. So with that being done, we're gonna go ahead and, same as the primer, we're gonna go ahead and run the actual color of the wheel in some warm water to get to get it real warm and shake it real good so we don't get any splotchiness or any buildup. because after this, it's gonna be real tough get any running then you're gonna have to pretty much start over sign it down and all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and go into dry water and get start painting all right guys so here we have the actual wheel paint so now we're gonna go ahead and start painting and it's gonna be a light coat same thing as we did with the primer we do with the paint so with that we're gonna go ahead and let it dry for 10 minutes now we're going to go ahead and hit it with the second coat. Alright guys, so this should be our last coat. It should be a really heavy coat so we don't get any orange peel. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and let it dry for 30 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the clear coat. After letting it dry for 30 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the gloss clear coat, which is two light coats and one medium coat, and then you should be solid and you should be done. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna go ahead and let it dry for five or 10 minutes and we're gonna hit it with the same coat. All right guys, so after letting it dry for 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the second coat. And with that, we'll let it dry for another 10 minutes and we'll put the final coat. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the last medium coat, which is pretty much a more heavier coat to cover the whole area. And after that, we should be done. All right guys, so with that, we're gonna let it dry for 30 minutes. It will be dry to the touch. But if you actually wanna handle the wheel, we have to let it dry for three hours, which we're gonna do. So you can see the end result. So let's just wait it out. All right, guys, as you guys saw in that little quick edit of the wheels, we actually got them painting them, which you can see, they come out really good. We're actually gonna go ahead and go to the tire shop and get the tires on these bad boys and get them mounted and balanced and all that good stuff and align the SI, of course. 
breath. So just, you know, guys always wear a face mask when you're sanding or painting, have some ventilation, mostly if you're in an enclosed area like this garage. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Got the SI, some wheels, but you know, nice, nice wheels that we got painted. So hopefully this video helps you paint your own wheels. If not, sorry, but if you guys need any help, make sure to leave a comment or message me on Instagram. All right, guys, this is gonna be it for today. Peace and stay safe, guys, out there, and catch you guys in the next one.